वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल रिलेटेड क्वेश्चंस फॉर द सब्जेक्ट बेसिक साइंस केमिस्ट्री एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फोर इज प्रिपरेशन ऑफ करोजी मीडियम रिजल्ट इज फर्स्ट वॉल्यूम अवेलेबल हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड रिक्वायर फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ टू नॉर्मल एच इट इज वन सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन्टी नाइन एम एल देन सेकेंड इज वॉल्यूम अवेलेबल सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड रिक्वायर फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ टू नॉर्मल एच टू एस ओ फोर इट इज फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट फिफ्टी सिक्स एम एल देन थर्ड वन इज वॉल्यूम अवेलेबल नाइट्रिक एसिड रिक्वायर फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ टू नॉर्मल एच एन ओ पी इट इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एल देन फोर्थ इज वॉल्यूम अवेलेबल सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड रिक्वायर फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ टू नॉर्मल एन ए ओ एच इज एटी रैम इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ रिजल्ट इज Using normality formula, calculate the quantity of concentrated acid or base required for preparation of corrosive medium. Then how to write conclusion and recommendation? Different corrosive medium enable diploma engineer to identify relevant working conditions, equipment, and probable quality of product. Then question and answer. Question number one is mention the type of corrosion take place when metal comes in contact with acid. Answer is when metal comes in contact with acid, electrochemical corrosion take place with evolution of hydrogen gas. Then second question is state the precaution taken for the preparation of dilute acid. Precaution taken for preparation of dilute acid are first. For diluting the acid, water should not be added to acid, but acid should be added to water because when the water is added to acid, the exothermic reaction takes place and water gets evaporated with acid, which is so harmful for the experimenter. Then second is wear protective hand gloves and lab apron. Third is use safety goggles. Fourth is work near running supply of water. And fourth. The fifth one is follow all safety instruction. Then question number three is prepare two fifty mL of five normal HCl from given twelve normal HCl, and this can be calculated by n one v one is equal to n two v two, where n one is twelve normal, while v one we have to calculate. Then n two is equal to five normal, v two is two fifty mL. Then, with the help of this, calculate the volume, which is one hundred four point two mL. Then, experiment number five: effect of temperature on rate of corrosion. Result: How to write? These sentences are given in manual. You have to just write the uh, temperature. That is, change in weight of aluminium in hydrochloric acid at room temperature is dash gram. That means before uh, corrosion. Then change in weight after changing the temperature. How much gram? This is how you have to write down the result for all types of acid and base. That is hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and sodium hydroxide. Then interpretation of result is maximum change in weight of aluminium. It is observed at which temperature you have to write down and And it is how much gram? Then conclusion and recommendation: metals are more corroded in acidic medium. Also, at higher temperature, corrosion for fa metal is faster. Then question and answer: uh, State the acid weight maximum change in weight is observed in HCl. Maximum change in weight is obs observed. That is, loss of weight is more in HCl. Name the gas liberated when aluminium is deep in hydrochloric acid. When aluminium deep in hydrochloric acid, hydrogen gas is evolved or liberated. Which compound is formed when aluminium react with hydrochloric acid? When aluminium react with hydrochloric acid, there is formation of hydrogen gas. Then, which type of film is formed? After dipping metal in hydrochloric acid, chlorine film is formed when metal is dipped in hydrochloric acid. Then, uh, describe observation when aluminium react with acid. When aluminium react with acid, formation of bubbles take place with evolution of hydrogen gas and loss in weight of aluminium strip. 
take place. Then experiment number six is electrode potential of copper metal. Result is first reduction electrode potential of copper. Then second is reduction electrode potential of zinc. Interpretation of result is in electrochemical civil zinc is placed above the copper metal. In conclusion and recommendation is zinc is more electropositive than copper hence zinc undergoes corrosion. Then question and answer write the chemical reaction taking place at cathode and anode in the electrochemical cell formed in the experiment. At anode there is oxidation that is zinc lose electron while at cathode ox uh, copper accept electron and get reduced. State the relation between reduction electrode potential of metal electrode and its tendency towards corrosion. The more negative the standard electrode potential greater is the tendency to form metal ions hence to corrode. Zinc have greater tendency to go into the solution and heat hence get corroded first. Name the cathode and anode in the given electrochemical cell. In the given electrochemical cell, zinc electrode it is act as anode, while copper electrode it is act as cathode. Then experiment number seven is electrode potential of iron metal. You have to write down a result like this: reduction poten electrode potential of iron is how much hold, and reduction electrode potential of zinc it is given in the experiment. Then interpretation of result is in electrochemical civil zinc is placed above the iron metal. Then conclusion is zinc is more electropositive than iron hence zinc undergoes corrosion. Write the question and answer. Write the chemical reaction taking place at the cathode and anode in electrochemical cell formed in the experiment at anode. There is oxidation reaction take place while at cathode reduction take place because iron accept these two electron and get reduced. Then question number two is state the relation between reduction electrode potential of metal electrode and its tendency towards corrosion. Tendency of zinc to form zinc Zn plus 2 is greater than tendency of Zn plus 2 to get deposited on zinc electrode. Therefore, zinc goes into the solution and get corrode into the solution. Then write the criteria required to decide the cathode and anode in the given electrochemical cell. By forming Zn plus 2, thereby zinc metal electrode acquires negative charge. On the other hand, tendency of iron to go into the solution is less than tendency of Fe plus to get deposited as Fe. And hence, iron electrode becomes positively charged from this. We can say that zinc electrode is connected to the negative terminal, which is act as anode. And Fe is connected to positive terminal, which is act as a cathode. Then experiment number 8 is determination of pH value. You have to write down result like this. Solution with less than 7 pH, it is acidic. Solution with more than 7 pH, it is basic or alkaline. Solution with exact 7 pH, it is neutral. Then interpretation of result is given here. It is very similar to that of result. Then conclusion and recommendation. You have to write down the conclusion with the help of your pH table. Solution A is what in nature, whether it is acidic, basic or neutral, depending upon the number. That means whether it is having pH less than 7, 7 or more than 7. Like this, you have to write down up for the all 7 solutions. Then question and answer. Describe the standardization process of pH meter. Normally, solution of known pH are used for standardization of pH meter. These solutions are usually standard buffer solution. To proper acidic and basic strength of pH should be used for preparation of standard buffer solution. The pH strength of solution should be known for the general purpose. Usually buffers of 4 and 9.2 pH are used but it depends on the solution of which pH you are going to measure. Then name the electrode 
which is used in the method of finding pH value. Glass electrode it is used. Then name the solution which is used to standardize pH meter. For standardization of pH meter, buffer solution of pH 4 and buffer solution of 9.2 are used. Then state the method which gives accurate pH value. pH meter it gives accurate pH value. Then state the composition of universal indicator. The main component of universal indicator in the form of solution they are thymol blue, methyl red, bromothymol blue with and phenophthalene. This mixture is important because each component loses or gains protons depending upon the acidity or alkalinity of the solution being tested. This is up to experiment number 8. In next part we are going to see from experiment number 9 practical related questions. Thank you.